Hello, this is Tim from JL Miniatures. Um, today, the first thing I wanted to do is uh, tell you um, that I found a new um, idea for making a river. Um, this right here is a piece of uh, plexiglass. It's roughly uh, eighth inch thick. Um, I had some cut uh, seven inches by ten and a half. Um, this is like a privacy type style where you can kind of see, but it's it makes it really hard to actually see all the way, you know, um, like your hand or something like that. It fuzzes everything out. Um, what I ended up doing is taking it on the back side. It's nice and smooth. On the other side, it's really kind of rough. I thought it looked kind of like water, so I thought I'd give it a try. And what I did is I took and measured it out halfway in between, scored down it several times, turned it over, and then snapped it and ended up with two pieces that was three inches by ten and a half. That's what I used for my uh, straight pieces for the uh, for the beginning of the river. I also took and uh, cut a couple uh, bends in it. It's three inches, three inches, then it has like roughly like a three inch kind of radius on the inside just kind of give it a nice flow to it. With uh, painting the first thing I did was I just used straight blue. As you can tell, there's uh, there's quite a few um, lighter areas and darker areas in there, and that just depends on how you you uh, spray. If you spray really close or several times over, you'll take and just end up being a really flat blue. With this here, when it lays down in like a regular table, you'll get kind of a lighter and darker areas. Kind of gives it more of a depth if you look at it that way. This was my uh, first try at it. I thought that was uh, a pretty good shot. And I also made, you know, curves. Took and did the curves so they'd they'd match up. Then I was thinking, you know, for fantasy 40k war machine, you know, it's a great idea. But you know, three and a half inches might be a little bit um, too big for some people, or they might want just a little bit thinner of an area. So what I decided to do is on my next try. Um, to use multiple colors. As you can see there, um, there's a blue, there's kind of a yellowy brown, and then there's a brown along the very edges. I thought that gave it more of a, like a creek or a small stream area, a river bank, and then it goes into the ground. On the back you can see that it's just brown right there. You have to paint this in reverse, so first thing you do is you'd spray your blue on you'd spray a yellow or whatever you wanted for the for the uh, the bank and then I took them to sprayed brown and then I covered the whole entire thing as you can see you know it's no longer transparent so it gives it a nice look to it when you lay it out um, I also took and uh, I cut a pond so people can you know if you want a pond or a stop area you can do that I also made it to where you can go from one end of the board um, to the other and basically cut it in half. I've made you know corners on it, turns to where you can kind of join them up and then go from there. Uh, each of these kits that I'm doing is uh, for the blue set which you get two corners or turns in it or bends, river bends, and then you have six straight um, three inch by ten and a half inch um, pieces for straight, so long, long way across the table if you decide to. Um, the blue is uh, twenty dollars. I sell it for. The uh, multiple color is uh, is thirty dollars, and that includes um, three colors for the riverbank. It also includes like a pond area. This pond is like around like almost the, the full ten and a half inches and it's a good probably six seven inches across so that kind of gives you an idea for size wise on that um, if you have any questions or any comments please post them I'm always willing to listen and hear what people have to say I took and uh, decided not to put any grass or anything like that along the edges I know it's kind of on a shiny look to it but when it's down onto a board 
you know like a green board or whatever you're using it does look really nice I decided not to put the grass or the rocks on there or the dirt just for you know movement and uh, durability I mean when you're taking impressing miniatures over this and rubbing them over this if it was painted they'd be scraped off being painted on the back side you got a lifetime of use out of this this is one of the you know the nicer things um, you actually do get a lot of use out of this um, I've also you know talked to other people and you know and I've suggested if they don't want it to where it slides around on the table they can also glue some felt down onto it and if they play on a felt table you know it's not gonna go anywhere it kinda of like velcros itself down almost so um, I'm interested in comments or anything like that if you're interested in ordering any uh, get a hold of me through www.jlminiatures.com again my name is Tim and Thank you very much for watching.